Hi everybody, thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do this full matte makeup look. This makeup is so simple and easy to do. Personally, I like to use this look in a daytime because it is neutral, it works for everybody and I can wear this look with anything. So that's it, I hope you like it and if you want to learn how to get it, please keep watching. So this is my clean face, it's just ready to apply the makeup. I already applied a moisturizer and now I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm using one of the best foundations for me. This one is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. This foundation has an awesome cover but at the same time feels like nothing in your skin. What I love because have a super natural and perfect finish. So I'm gonna spray this foundation all over my face with a dual fiber brush by Motivis Cosmetics. You can apply the primer if you want but I'm just doing the tutorial and then I'm gonna remove all the makeup. My favorite primers are the Photo Finish by Smashbox and also the Professional by Benefit. Now I'm just blending and and removing all the excess of the product with the beauty blender. I love to use the beauty blender or any makeup sponge to apply the foundation or any liquid products. So if I don't apply the product with the beauty blender or any makeup sponge, I always use it after to give a better finish. And now I'm applying my favorite concealer by NARS. This is the shade Vanilla. As you can see, it's so lighter than my skin, but I use it also to highlight my face. So I'm gonna apply the concealer in a triangle shape under my eyes and also in all the areas that I want to highlight. And then of course, I will also blend with the Beauty Blender. Now from the Cream Contour Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm gonna use the color Chocolate from the Medium Kit to contour my face. Of course this color is super darker than my skin, but I can use a little bit of product and blend really well, because in all these palettes I missed the colors for lighter skin. As I have the skin so pale, I don't wanna look so orange or yellow as the another tones do. For contour, I like to use more cold shades or even grayish shades but the cream contour looks more natural when well blended and depending of the color and the effects that you wish you don't need to set with a contour powder on top of the contour and making it look more dramatic as I wish a natural finish today. A lot of people asked me about this contour kit and no, I don't use anything mixed with the contour. I just use the contour palette with a eyeshadow brush. What I do that you see me doing before is just rub this small brush in the contour and it kind of melts the contour a little bit to applying my face because as you can see, it have a so dry formula but at the same time it's creamy. I don't know what to say about this product. I like it so much but at the same time, if you don't know how to use it, it can look so heavy and dramatic or even less natural because the colors but I like it because it doesn't move in your face when you apply and blend really well because of course you have to take your time for blend and have a good finish so that's it this product is awesome but at the same time is not for everybody so if you don't care and you don't mind about a more heavy skin and a more thick coat of foundation you can easily use and try it it will look amazing pictures or for a parties as i said it lasts so longer and don't move in your face but you have to take your time and blend really well because you don't want the harsh lines in your face and if you like of a more natural finish i I, of course don't recommend this product but as you can see it have a beautiful finish you just have to try it this is just my opinion about the product personality I use it of course because I like it in the pictures and in the videos but you have to try and take your own opinion now I'm gonna apply the powder on top of everything this powder is by NYX I love this powder so much for set everything in my face and I'm using a blush brush
Now I think that I have to blend more this contour and I decided to set this contour with a darker powder on top. This is a bronzer by Too Faced. My shade is medium deep matte bronzer and I absolutely love this product because it blends really easily and I think this made my face look more natural and without harsh lines. Now I'm gonna fill in my brows with this product by Machivis Cosmetics and an angled brush also by Machivis. So I mix this darker eyeshadow with this pomade and I apply it in my eyebrow. So this is the difference between my eyebrows, one ready and the other I'm gonna start with you. I like to start from the middle to the end of my eyebrow and I go filling making my eyebrows more thicker than they are but at the same time I'm trying to do it natural as possible. So now I'm gonna use this tinted brow gel by NYX. I'm gonna use the lighter shade for blonde in the beginning of my brow and then I'm gonna apply the darker shade from the middle to the end of my brow. And this will just hold everything in place and make the look more natural. So I blend the two colors of brow gel with a clean brow brush. Finally, moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna start applying this primer potion by Urban Decay. This is one of my favorite primers as I have an oiled skin and also my eyelid. So I need a good primer to hold everything in place, especially because I'm using a matte eyeshadows today. So I'm applying this primer with my clean fingers all over my lid in my tear duct area and everywhere the eyeshadows go of course also in my lower lash line and now I'm gonna use this awesome natural matte palette by Too Faced I love it so much this palette because it's so pigmented so with a normal eyeshadow brush I'm gonna start applying this cream eyeshadow below my brow this will highlight a little bit and help to blend the next eyeshadows creating a beautiful and matte highlighter effect in my eyes Now with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna apply this matte brown eyeshadow in my crease and in my outer corner. The brushes that I'm using in my eyes are from Sigma Beauty, from the Extravaganza Kit, what I love so much. So I go adding a little at the time of this color and I go blending in circular motions for a beautiful and more natural smoke effect. In my eyelid with another eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna apply this light pink matte eyeshadow in all the space that I leave without any eyeshadow and also this color go in my tear duct area, making my eyes more awake without any shimmer in the makeup. Now with a small angled brush, I'm gonna apply this dark brown gel eyeliner from Sigma. This color is stunningly ladylike. I'm gonna do a small angled eyeliner and trying to do it as thin as possible and so close to the lash line. The 
The rest left in my brush, I'm gonna apply in my lower lash line to make my eyes bigger. And then you can go ahead and apply your fake lashes and your favorite mascara. If I'm using this look in a daytime, I prefer to use a waterproof mascara. The fake lashes that I'm using are from Velour Lashes, my favorite brand of lashes. In this style, Carly Lash, she made a so cute style of fake lashes. The contact lenses that I'm using today are also from my favorite brand of contact lenses. This is Desio Eyes in Caramel Brown. So beautiful and it's time for blush i'm using this beautiful bronzed color by motivus cosmetics this is the shade siesta it has some gold sparkles on it what i love but it's just a little bit even giving the impression that this blush is matte so that's it with this look you can use any lipstick that you like i use it the lip liner in dusty rose by motivus cosmetics and the lipsticks also by motivus cosmetics in the colors tender and kissable basically i did a ombre with these three products in my lips these lipsticks are matte but of course you can use just a nude lipstick or as i said before any color that you like so that's it i hope you like this tutorial thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you still didn't and follow me on instagram and i see you in the next time